Hello YouTubers, uh, please bear with me, this is my first YouTube video. I've uh, decided to put a short tour of my uh, home laboratory together. I'll go through some of the equipment that I've been using so that you can um, gain an understanding of how it works and what it is that I do with it. Um, I generally do some computer hardware maintenance, uh, experimenting with uh, operating systems um, built on the software level and uh, motherboards and various uh, other components on the hardware level. Um, right, here we go. I have a small Cherry uh, PS2 keyboard here, um, mainly because it doesn't take too much space, it's really quite useful and um, it allows me to just lift it up out of the way when I want to have all this space available to work on circuits and so on. Um, next to that I have a roller ball mouse which I picked up a few years ago at a computer fair. Um, a SATA hard disk dock. It's the way I'm able to uh, hot, well not hot swap, but I'm able to put hard disks into it and just um, maybe uh, take backups or read or format or anything that I need to do uh, without needing to tear apart a desktop machine. Um, right here we have an older well, this is basically a Palm type machine, a Sony. I've just got that with a, a memory, a Sony memory stick in it. It's just got some of my um, data that I prefer not to write down, um, but nothing really important anyway, nothing major. I have a DVD player down here. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a little Acura box. And above it, I have a DVD RW. Um, this is uh, also a USB connection. So that uh, allowed me to plug in laptops without uh, optical drive. Um, you get a quite a lot of those uh, ultrabooks and netbooks without those features. So it's useful to have. <coughs> Here I have my Unity bench multimeter. Um, I use this quite intensively when I'm uh, working on circuit boards just to measure voltage, resistance, current, temperature, that kind of thing. And here above it I have a um, a router, it's a D-Link. I've uh, installed DDWRT on this and it's allowed me to um, just set up different type of um, access um, protocols and experiment with them, see how uh, reliable they are and how far they reach. It's uh, quite a cheap little box. I think you can pick this up on eBay for around a fiver. But it's definitely worth getting. Um, immediately above that I have my uh, compact PS2 KVM. Um, at the moment I'm only using about three of the ports. Um, they're connected to my Toshiba notebook, which is running Ubuntu server. Um, my Samsung NC10 notebook, netbook, sorry, which is a dual booting uh, Windows XP and Ubuntu desktop uh, version 10.04 LTS. And above that, right above that, sitting on top of my oscilloscope, which is a little bit naughty, I have my test machine, which is currently running Fedora, um, another variation of, of Linux. While we're up here, I'll point out my um, oscilloscope, which is a quite useful little machine to have um, for circuit work. Um, above the development machine, I have my sine wave um, uh, function generator, um, which is quite a useful machine to have also. Next to the oscilloscope here, we have my uh, Hewlett Packard Media Vault. Um, this basically holds all the media for my household. Uh, pictures, uh, music, video. It connects uh, through the gigabit network which I've built throughout the house. Um, and it's basically accessible everywhere. So all of our home videos and all our wedding pictures and party pictures and things like that, they're all on that. Um, family pictures and so on. Um, I've actually installed a whole gigabit network throughout the house. It's quite a straightforward thing to do, but it's um, really made a difference because I did a, originally have a 100 megabit network um, about a year or so, well, about two years ago now, and it just wasn't really good enough. So I was quite happy to upgrade it to gigabit and get hold of um, a few of these uh, gigabit um, switches. Uh, that's a 8 port switch there, uh, tender, and next to it I have a 5 port switch, also tender. <coughs> um, next to the uh, 
oscilloscope and the test machine. Here I have a uh, small 12 inch uh, color television which is connected to the DVD uh, player and also to this um, SCART switch box which I can connect a camcorder to. Um, I do a lot of uh, video editing work for a couple of uh, organizations I'm affiliated with, um, such as my church and so on, and uh, that allows me to um, just well, uh, capture footage from the camcorder and view it on the monitor and decide what I need to edit and work with and so on. And then other than that I've just got uh, you know, some lighting facilities and just torches. This light's really quite bright, isn't it? Um, which is quite useful when I'm working. And uh, here we have a, a little fan when I'm, uh, I feel that the temperatures might be getting a bit too high here so I just need to run everything a bit cooler. Um, I've got a, a second multimeter up here. This is just a, a very standard handheld uh, Hilka uh, digital multimeter. It's not auto-ranging. I do have an auto-ranging box but that's sitting in my, uh, in my van at the moment for some work out to do. And if you come down, you see a 17-inch monitor here which is uh, something I again picked up on uh, on eBay, I believe it was, for less than twenty pounds. It's quite useful. And below the netbook here, we have my power supply, which is a you know, it's a Chinese built device, which is you know, it's really perfectly adequate. It runs up to fifteen volts, and it's an adjustable current as well. And um, it's been very useful to have, giving me no trouble. In a great little device. Next to it there you'll see a uh, external USB hard disk. It's basically just an external um, box and I put a one terabyte hard disk inside it. Um, again just for experimentation purposes. And uh, there I've got some printouts, some schematics of uh, information, things I've been working on. And just some, a few other peripherals. My uh, gas um, operated soldering iron. That's great because I don't have to mess around with any like you know wires and all that trailing which can be a real pain. And um just a few other little bits and bobs. So um there you go. That's my first ever YouTube video and I hope it hasn't been a complete waste of time. It's uh, a pleasure introducing everything to you. Goodbye.